Christmas is all about. Hey everyone, today's video is going to be this Christmas present unwrapping makeup look. I've been wanting to do this look for like the past two Christmases but I never got around to it so today is the day that I do it and I'm really happy with how it turned out so if you want to know how to do this Christmas present unwrapping makeup look then just keep watching outline of where I want the paper to be and I want it to be around my eyes like this so my eyes are peeking through the wrapping paper so the very first step I'm going to do is map that out with some white pencil you can use a white pencil I'm just going to use a white face paint to map that out so I'm just taking a white face paint from Snazaroo you can use anything you want and I'm going to use some MAC Fix Plus just to spritz that so I'm going to take the white paint and I'm just going to sketch out around the top of my eyebrows, down the sides of my eyebrows and across my nose. It doesn't have to be neat because you want it to be like a ripped paper so I'm just doing it a rough, a rough sketch. So everything around the actual white line is going to be red and the inside is going to be left alone. So inside the box I'm going to move on to the eyebrows, so I'm taking the MAC Fix Plus spray, I'm going to take the Pears Transparent Soap, you can use any soap you wish but it has to be transparent, it can't be the white residue one because it will leave a weird white mark around your brows and it won't look as nice. So I'm just going to spray the soap and just pull my eyebrows upwards just to really coat those hairs. And then I'm going to pull them across and just gently shape the brows using the end of a spoolie. Once you're happy with one of the brows, I'm going to move on to the other brow as well. Okay, so once the eyebrows are done, now I'm going to move on to the rest of the skin, which is a pretty simple job. It's not too hard to do, and it's just a, basically a one base colour all over. So I'm going to go with the colour red, that's why I'm wearing this red top today, or red bodysuit. And I'm going to use a red face paint all over. If you don't have a red face paint, you could use some sort of red grease paint, or you could even use a red liquid lipstick and put it all over. But be wary, because that will stain. <laughs> so I'm going to use this, it's crumbling and I've got like a tiny bit left, but I think I can make it work. So I'm going to take the MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to spray loads of this into the lid so that I can use that as my water. Now you can just use water if you wish, but I like using setting spray, simply because I feel like it stays a lot longer than regular water, but you do whatever you want to do. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this and dip in my little flat, kind of like foundation brush that I'm gonna use and just pick up the red paint. So with the red paint now, I'm just gonna go in and start painting everywhere that you can see bare skin underneath this white line. Now don't be worried if the red isn't too pigmented, this one's quite a sheer red. I am going to go over it with some red eyeshadow afterwards just to set it in place. But for now I'm going to just go over it and try and cover the whole area in the red. So at this stage I'm going to go ahead and set this now, you don't have to but I just feel like it's going to make more pigmented. So I'm taking the Lorac Pro Artistry palette and I'm going to take this one here called Cherry Soda which is this beautiful red colour. Take quite a big fluffy brush and just pack this all over the skin. This is going to act as your setting powder but it's going to be red. So once you've done that and it's all set and it's nice and pigmented, next I'm going to move back to the white face paint and I'm going to take that little fine tip brush again. This one is from P. Louise, it's from their Acid Rain collection and this time I'm going to draw a design on the wrapping paper. Now you can draw any design you wish, the one I'm going to go for today is a snowflake design but if not, like I said, just wing it, it doesn't really matter too much as long as you are 
as neat as you can possibly be. So everywhere the red is, you want to just sporadically put these snowflakes. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm going to move on to the eyes now. So I'm going to take the P. Louise base in Rumour 2, and this is going to go all over the lid, all the way up to the brow bone. I'm just taking a dense packer brush, and I'm just going to pat this all over the lid. Then I'm going to take some foundation and just fill in the space around the eyes, and you can use any foundation you wish. I'm going to use the same brush that I used before and I'm just going to go all in this little empty space. Moving back to the Lorac palette, I'm going to take the same sort of similar tones, so I think red and white is going to look best. So I'm going to go in with cherry soda again and this is going to go straight into the crease. I'm going to put that same colour underneath the lower lash line as well. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with a deeper red this time, and I'm going to take Psycho, which is this beautiful deeper red shade. So with this deeper colour, I'm just going back into the crease, just to deepen it up a little bit more. And I'm not going to bring this all the way up on the brow bone. Just deepening that red. And I'm only going to put this on the top. This time I want to go in with a nude on the actual lid. So I think I'm going to take this one up here called Ghost. So we're almost finished. Next I'm taking this from Bowie M. This is the water activated colour in the shade Burnt. So this is like a liquid liner and I'm going to use this to do my liner now. So again I'm just going to use the Fix Plus and spray in there okay so next i'm taking my anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade mine's in the shade dark brown and i'm going to fill in the eyebrows now can already see a difference between the brows so now I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara I'm taking the PS false lash queen mascara from Primark and I'm just going to apply this to the top and lower lashes So while the mascara is drying, I'm going to move on to lips. Now you can leave your lips like this if you wish, but I want them to stand out just a little bit. So they are going to still be red, but mine's going to have a like glitter top coat, so it's going to shine out just a little bit. I'm taking the Decca Scarlet Matte Velvet Lip Colour in Siren, and then over top of this, I'm going to put this on, which is the MUA Luxe uh, Metallic Liquid Lips in Blaze. So let's put these on now.
just makes your lips stand out a little bit more okay so we're almost done now just two more steps to go so now i'm going to put on my lashes and i'm taking these dramatic ones i feel like they have to be dramatic for this look to stand out even more so i'm taking the fern mccann dramatic lashes in calabasa crush these are just from poundland they're so so cheap but they're amazing quality so i'm going to go ahead and put these on now okay so you can see the difference it makes with those dramatic lashes i think it just really needs that for it to pop even more so the final step whatever design you've done on your chest or wherever is the design you want the paper to be when it's ripped otherwise it won't really make sense I'm just going to cut out a big rectangle first and I'm just going to judge it. Imagine you were taking this piece and covering it and then ripping up the edges. You would have the white on the outside tucking out. So I'm just going to take the halves gently. Don't fold the centre because we don't want to crease. I'm just going to cut a slit in the middle like this and that is where I'm going to cut and then we'll go from there and see if it fits or not. We can always cut more if we need to. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go around the edge and just start ripping. And you basically wanna glue around the inside here, the white piece, stick it down. So on the inside, on the white side, along the edge here, I'm just going to add some glue. And I'm just taking eyelash glue. Leave that to dry, and then once it's dried, you can start peeling up the edges like this. And this is the finished look so all i did now was i just added a bow to my hair and added some little earrings in and that is the look so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give a big thumbs up it really does help out my channel don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to be notified of all my future videos just like this one i hope you all have an amazing christmas wherever you are with your friends or your family and yeah i'll see you all again next time bye guys